Hello student. In this video, we are going to see some basic science chemistry practical related questions. So first question, iron with positive charge is called and the answer is cation. Iron with negative charge, it is called the anion. Okay. Already we have covered all this in the fourth chapter that is chemical bonding and catalysis. Okay. Ions, two types of ion. One is positive ion and another is negative ion. Positive ion is called cation and negative ion is called the anion. Next, cations are obtained from or question may be asked like this. Basic radicals are obtained from. So, cations means positive ions are obtained from the metallic atoms by loss of electron. Okay. So, answer for this question is metallic atoms by loss of electrons. Same question instead of cation, anions. Anions are obtained from oblique. Acidic radicals are obtained from. Okay. So, both the questions are the same and answer is non-metallic atoms by the gain of electron. So, anions, negative ions, they are obtained from the non-metals by the gain of electrons. Next, basic radical have dash charge. Basic radical, it is also called the cation. So, which charge is having the cation? Same having the basic radical. So, positive charge is on the basic radical. Acidic radical have dash dash charge. Acidic radical have negative charge what is redox reaction next question is what is redox reaction reaction which involve both reduction and oxidation it is called the redox reaction okay next what is the symbol of iron iron is the metal and its symbol is the fe next what is the atomic weight of iron? Atomic weight of iron is 56. Okay. Reduction means. Okay. Reduction is defined by three ways. One is addition of hydrogen, removal of oxygen and gain of electron. It is called the reduction. Similarly, exactly opposite of reduction that is oxidation. Oxidation means removal of hydrogen, addition of oxygen or loss of electron. It is called the oxidation. Next, an oxidation of reaction always occurs at is in fifth chapter corrosion. We have seen this. So, oxidation always occurs at anode. A reduction reaction always occurs at S. Yes, reduction reaction always occurs at cathode. Next, what is pH? This is related to the experiment number 9. Determination of pH of the given solution. So, what is pH? You have to say the definition here. So, it is negative logarithm to base 10 of H plus ion concentration. Next, in practical, sometimes question may be asked, explain pH scale. So, here you have to say the range of the pH scale. Then, uh, you have to differentiate. Means, if pH is less than 7, then the solution is acidic. If pH is more than 7, then solution is basic or it is also called alkaline. And if pH is 7, then the solution is neutral. If a solution has pH equal to 0, then solution is extremely acidic. Remember, if pH is 0, then solution is extremely acidic. And if the solution has pH equal to 14, then it is basic, extremely basic or extremely alkaline. Okay. Let us proceed further. In the determination of pH by pH meter, which electrode is used? Okay. So, in the determination of pH by using pH meter, glass electrode is used. So, answer for this is glass electrode. 
what is the role of thinner in paint so main role that is to reduce the viscosity of paint okay or you can say to reduce the consistency of paint so that you can easily apply on the surface what is the nature of thinner in the paint the thinner which is present in the paint it is volatile in nature volatile means what Volatile or this question may be asked like this. What is volatile? Volatile means the substance which evaporates easily. It is called the volatile. And remember the nature of thinner is the volatile in nature. Okay. Now next question is what is the unit of viscosity? This question is based on the experiment number 12. That is the effect of temperature on the viscosity of given lubricating oil. So remember the unit of viscosity is the poise. And these questions may be asked in your final exam also. So, unit of viscosity it is the poise. Next, the rate of change of viscosity with temperature is called, it is called the viscosity index. Okay. And remember, when you are going to select the lubricant, viscosity index should be the high. High viscosity index means what? There is a no change in the viscosity with increase of temperature or there is a little change okay slight change in the viscosity when temperature increases that it is called the high viscosity index so good lubricant should have the high viscosity index flash and fire point represents which physical quantity as you are knowing different physical quantities are there like density volume mass so flash and fire point it represents the temperature okay so these are the temperatures name the apparatus which is used to determine the effect of temperature on viscosity okay uh, we have seen during our practical so the apparatus which is used to determine the effect of temperature on viscosity it is the redwood viscometer one so the name of apparatus is the redwood viscometer one next U-shaped glass tube used in the determination of electrode potential of metal is called. Okay, this is related to the experiment number seven. That is determination of electrode potential of iron. In that we have used one inverted U-shaped glass tube. Okay, which is immersed in the two beaker. That it is called the salt bridge. Okay, so sometime it may be asked like this: What is the role of salt bridge? So role of salt bridge is to transfer the iron from uh, one cell to other half cell one half cell to the other half cell in daniel cell which two electrodes are present daniel cell remembering if you have gone through it daniel cell it consists of two electrodes one is zinc and other is copper electrodes are used in the daniel cell in daniel cell Zinc electrode act as dash dash and copper electrode act as dash dash. For that, you must know that electrochemical series. Okay, the metal which is present at the top, it will act as an anode and which is present at the bottom, it will act as a cathode. So, in electrochemical series, zinc is present at the top, so it is acting as an anode, whereas copper, it is acting as a cathode. Next, represent the Daniel cell. Okay. Daniel cell, it is represented like this. See here, here is the zinc. Here, solid yes is written in the bracket at the subscript. Single line means zinc is immersed in the zinc sulfate, which is aqueous in. Aqueous means it is prepared in the water. Then, two vertical line, it represents the salt bridge. Then, salt bridge, it is coming in the copper sulfate, CuSO4, which is also in aqueous. And in that, copper electrode is deep so don't forget to write the charges on copper you have to give the positive charge and on zinc you have to write the negative charge so this is the representation of the daniel cell next question what is the use of desiccator in the experiment determination of percentage of thinner from given paint sample okay uh, you are knowing uh, determination of thinner content in the paint we are used one glass jar like apparatus sorry it is called the desiccator so desiccator is used to cool the paint after heating why it is used 
to avoid the entry of moisture in the paint during the cooling okay in desiccator calcium carbonate powder is kept there okay white color powder is kept there it is going to absorb the moisture okay so uh, if you are going to cool it openly that time it is going to absorb the moisture from the surrounding so to avoid the entry of moisture in the paint it is cooled in the desiccator and the last question name the apparatus used to determine flash and fire point yes so which apparatus is used to determine flash and fire point experiment number 14 and 15 okay so for that we are using the ebel's closed cup and cleveland open cup these are the apparatus used to determine the flash and fire point so these are the few questions which may be asked in your practical exam so all the best for your practical exam thank you